For HIV to be transmitted from one person to another, three conditions need to be met. If any one of those conditions are not met, HIV cannot be passed on. First of all, HIV has to be present. If someone has HIV, it may be present in vaginal fluids, semen, moisture in the anal passage, blood and breast milk. If nobody there has HIV, it doesn't matter what you do, there is no HIV risk. Secondly, HIV must be present at a high enough level to cause infection. When HIV is treated, the levels of the virus fall so low that it can't be passed on during sex. Thirdly, there has to be a plausible route, a way from the virus to go from one person to another. HIV can't pass through unbroken skin, but it can pass through mucous membranes, the delicate tissues that line the vagina, the anal passage, the urethra, the underside of the foreskin, and the throat. When all of these conditions are met, HIV may be transmitted. This is a possibility rather than a certainty. HIV is not transmitted on each and every occasion. Vaginal and anal sex are the main ways that HIV is passed on. Because of the quantity of semen and the efficiency of the root, the risk is greater for the female partner in vaginal sex or the receptive partner in anal sex. Performing oral sex is a much lower risk and there is not enough virus in saliva for there to be any risk of transmission from receiving oral sex. There is no risk of HIV being passed on through coughing, sneezing or spitting, kissing, hugging or shaking hands, sharing cutlery, plates or cups, breathing the same air, using the same lavatory, or from mosquito or animal bites. For more information on HIV transmission and ways to lower the risk, visit aidsmap.com.